what's up y'all i'm here with a tutorial on how to make your ponytail or your puff sleek and fleeky with thick natural hair as you can see i have just washed my hair it's looking real thick and um yeah it needs some work but we're gonna get it together okay so if you want to learn how to make this thick hair into a nice puff stay watching look at that bounce yes girl Here's the stuff that you'll need, a headband, a toothbrush to tie those edges. You'll need a denim brush, and I'm using a um, dollar store brush as well, a water bottle, and some hair butter of your choice. It smells so good, y'all. I actually got it from the Dollar General store, and that's the only products that I use, actually. You'll also need that Eco Style Gel. I only use the olive oil. I'm not getting into all those different kinds that they be making, I keep it simple. So first thing, if I can get this water bottle open, um, is you wanna spritz down your hair and make it damp. So my hair had already dried by the time I started getting my stuff together. So I went ahead and we moisturized it. And I'm just gonna section off that hair. Yes, I made that face because um, I ran into this curl. And if you know, if you have a curl pattern like me, that junk be hurting. So I'm just gonna use that headband to section or keep my hair up. I'm going to use a brush when I put apply that hair butter on that section of hair and um, make sure that it's nice and soft and easy to work with. Yeah, this hair butter is freaking bomb. It has no um, sulfates and all those little parabens and those different type of chemicals that be in a lot of products it's not in this stuff and it smells so good four dollars and fifty cents this hairline is the bomb so now i'm going to apply that eco styler gel to that section of my hair i want to put it around the perimeter of the section of hair and i'm going to brush it with my denim brush I like the denim brush. I don't really comb. I don't comb my hair, actually. I only finger comb my hair or use the denim brush. And I have no problems. So there's that denim brush. I'm brushing everything up. And like in the way that I would want my hair to go. So kind of like molding it in a sense. And I'm just going to apply it and do the same thing for each section of my head. The butter, the equal style of gel, brush, brush, brush. Yes, girl. So now I'm just using that plastic um, or that dollar store brush just to kind of like make sure that everything's brushed up to my liking. Now I'm getting to the top of my head. Um, I have really thick hair, y'all. Y'all just do not understand. And this is when I realized that I did not apply any hair butter. So I am going back and applying that hair butter before I put on that with the side of your side, y'all. I'm human. I make it sexy side of time. Especially my ends, because my ends tend to get dry, especially since um, I've bleached and dyed my hair before. Y'all, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, um, <laughs> strange. My personality is gonna show throughout this video. So I hope you guys can bear with me and that you like my personality because, um, yeah, it can only be me. Now I'm getting to the top of my head and I'm going to, oh, I did not forget the butter this time. I'm going to use that butter and make sure I get all of my edges around the, the front of my hair. It's very important making sure it's moisturized so my edges don't fall out. Then I'm going to use that Eco Style Gel. I'm going to use a nice amount. And I just want y'all to know that it may seem like I'm using a lot of Eco Style Gel, but I'm not for this type of hairstyle. Um, 
I'm not saturating my hair with Eco Style Gel. Please don't do that because your wash day is going to be horrendous trying to get all that gel out. But no, I'm just using enough to make sure that my hair is, you know, sleek. And I'm just pulling out my baby hairs with my finger. I don't be pulling all them long strands out of my head. I'm sorry, I can't get into that. I like my baby hairs to be natural. I don't be doing all that stuff, y'all. And I just use that plastic brush just to make sure everything is brushed up real nice. Now, you may see some white flakes or, you know, whiteness. It's okay. Do not panic. It will go away. I'm use that headband. I apply it from the back of my head to the front and then just pull it up. And I turn the headband around and grab my hair to just like double, make it go over it. A notch, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it, but you can see it. I just brush everything in the back to make sure everything's good. And now it's time to do something with these edges, y'all. I'm gonna take my toothbrush and kind of just mold and shape my edges to go inside of my cute little puff. My hair was just getting in the way. It did not want me to be great. So after we get our edges together, y'all, that is it. I'm just going to dip my little puff and apply some conditioner to it or hair butter, whatever you moisturize your curls with, just so that it doesn't look dry and all of your ends are moisturized, which is the most important part because our ends, if you have my um, hair type, it gets dry. So you definitely want to moisturize, 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 sis. Nice. All right, y'all, and this is the finished product with my clothes on, my hoops back in, my little lips beat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you decide to do this. Comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you next time.